By the end of this video, you will have learned how to create a 2D tile map in Unity using Unity's built-in and powerful tile map features. To do this, we can right-click in the hierarchy, go to 2D Object, Tile Map, and select Rectangular. I'm going to name this Platform Tile Map. As a side note, if you don't see the Tile Map option, you need to make sure you go to Window, Package Manager, select the Unity Registry, and make sure that you have the 2D package installed. This includes both a 2D tile map editor and 2D tile map extras, both of which will be needed. Now, if I go to the scene view and select the platform tile map, I'm going to see this grid. If you don't see the grid, you make sure that you have the gizmos here selected. We can go to this tile map here and make sure that it's set as multiple, which is what we're going to need and that it's properly split up. Now, this, these tile maps here are 16 by 16, as is indicated here. So if I was to go into the sprite editor and I wanted to slice this tile map, I would change it away from automatic and change it to grid by cell size, and then make sure that my grid is set to 16 by 16 and hit slice. And then I would hit apply. And that's how you can slice a tile map. Now, in this case, this one's already set up nicely for me, so I'm going to use this one. We also want to make sure our pixels per unit is set to the size of our tile map. So again, this is a 16 by 16 tile map. I want to make sure that my pixels per unit are 16 or they won't display correctly. Now, I want to go to the tile palette and I need to create a new tile palette. If you don't see the tile palette, you can go to Window, 2D, and select Tile Palette. Then I'm going to click on this drop down and say Create New Palette. It's going to ask for a name, so I'll just call it Main Palette and go to Create. And it will ask me where I want to save this. I'm going to create this within my Assets folder. I'll make a new folder in here and I'll call it tile map and then I'll save this in here. Now with this main palette created, I can take my tile map and drag it onto here and it will automatically generate some tiles for me. I'm just going to make sure that I save this in the same folder that I just created. So assets and tile map and now I'm going to let it generate and just like that it's created some tiles for us. From here I can click on my platform tile map, make sure I have the brush tool selected, pick a tile and simply start to draw. Just like that, we can basically get the level back to where we already had it. Of course, there would be a problem right now if I was to try to play it. My player just falls straight through the world. We don't have any collisions enabled on the tile map. To make sure that we do have collisions on here, I'm going to select the platform tile map, go to add component, and say tile map collider 2D. Automatically, that will do a pretty good job at generating the green outlines around the tiles. But you can see it's also added a collider in the shape of every tile on here, which isn't really ideal. What we can do is add component and add a composite collider 2D. And then on this tile map collider, say use by composite. And you'll see that now we just have one collider, which takes up the shape of the outline of the tile map, which should make it a lot smoother for our player to walk on. It also adds a rigid body 2D, which by default is set to dynamic. So we have to set this to static. Otherwise, the platforms themselves will just fall. Finally, I also need to change my layer to ground because that's what we're using to recognize that we're on the ground for our player allowing our player to jump. We can go ahead and we can try this out. Although let me re-enable this first. And great, just like that, our player is walking. I can even go on here in play mode and I can select the tile palette and I could just draw some new tiles on if I wanted to. And immediately we would see that the collisions properly take effect. That is very cool. You may also notice that I have to manually select the tiles right now and draw them and that just requires too much thinking. I'm quite lazy and there has to be a better way to do that. Well, fortunately there is. It's called a rule tile and it's what we're going to set up next. A rule tile is a special type of tile that will basically draw the correct tiles in our tile map for us based on its surroundings. To do this, I'm going to create a rule tile in my sprites folder. Well, in here where we have the terrain, I'm going to right click and go create 2D 
tiles rule tile and I'm just going to name this grass rule tile. I'm then going to drag the grass rule tile onto my tile map and you're going to see, well technically you're not going to see anything. We need to set it up a little bit first. With this grass rule tile selected, I'm going to go to the inspector and I'm going to add a default tile for it. We'll just use this grass one over here. If I go back to my tile palette, I can see that now it shows up. If I was to paint this on here, we're going to see that, well, nothing really happens that seems too special. It just looks exactly like that grass tile. But that's because we haven't added any, any rules to it yet. Under the tiling rules, I'm gonna click this plus button and immediately it's going to disappear because now we've created a rule but we haven't set a tile. I'm going to add this very centered dirt tile into this image and but just like that, it's going to create a bunch of dirt around here. If I click on this grid around here, I can start adding some arrows and this is basically going to indicate that in order for this dirt tile to appear, there has to be another tile on top of it, on either side of it, and underneath it. We can see that's working pretty much as expected because we're getting dirt tiles on the center, and then otherwise we're getting this default tile up here if this rule isn't met. I'm going to add a second rule now, and now I'm going to set up, well actually this is perfect, I'll just use this top tile here, in which case I think it makes sense that in order for this top center one to appear, there needs to be a tile on the left or on the right, a tile on the, on the left. Other than that, maybe we want a tile underneath. I'm not quite sure yet, but I think we definitely want ones on the left and right. I'm going to add a third one, and now I'm going to add a corner piece. It's already done a decent job adding it on this side, but I think it makes sense. We should have a corner if these two spots are taken. We would have to create a, the opposite rule tile for the other side, but if I click this little center button here, I can click it until I get this left and right arrow, which is basically telling it to mirror the tile on the other side. Next, I'm going to create this side view tile, so the wall, and then I'm going to think about the logic that I would want to apply in here for this tile to appear. I'm just gonna skip ahead after I've set up the rest of these rule tiles and then show you what I've done. I've gone ahead here and created a nice tile map for our player to get through, encompassing some of the things we would need, such as a jump, a double jump, and a wall jump in order to proceed. These are This is how I've set up the tile map, so you can feel free to pause and just copy what I've done. I may also want to use more than just a grass tile, but rather than going through and creating all of these again, I could just duplicate this and then take a look at what my other tile options are and see that I have this deserty tile and this gooey tile over here. So I could just rename this maybe goo tile and then go ahead here and just update the corresponding sprites with this uh, pinkish one and then replace those particular tiles on there. So go here and do this and then kind of go through them one by one until I've matched them all up, uh, which is just a little faster than doing the rule tiles. And of course there is the one major issue right now, which is that the tile map isn't currently playable all the way. Uh, who our screen is currently set to not follow the player, which is obviously something that we're going to want to be changing. There may also be a slight issue with some visual tearing here. You can see it kind of when I zoom in or out at different levels. At some levels, it seems to be a little bit more obvious than others. Uh, this is likely just an issue with how the tile map itself has been set up. But one thing I can do is just slightly shrink the pixels per unit to say something like 15.8, hit apply, and that just heightens everything up a little bit. So it may become a slightly more blurry, but it also gives me a slightly better look, which I'm kind of happier with. In our next video, we're going to be setting up our game to follow the player as he moves around the screen. Not only that, but the camera will be locking to our playable area and we'll be achieving some functionality like this cool zoom we're seeing here as our player stands still. Stay tuned for more.